I recently removed the faulty electric heater from my 2012 Chevy Volt plug-in hybrid. What was interesting about this is that I found out that it's basically a plastic cover over an aluminum casting. And then on the other side of that casting are some electronics and 15 individual heating elements. I tested one of them and it was around 900 ohms, which I was a little confused because it didn't seem to quite uh, calculate out for the right amount of power. Uh, this heater should have been able to make thousands and thousands of watts of heat. So let's take a look at a Ohm's Law calculator and see if we can figure out what's happening and maybe if temperature has something to do with it. Um, we can start by saying we've got a 360 volt battery pack and then we just have to punch in uh, resistance or power. We're trying to figure out power so we'll punch in resistance and the thing is that I don't have a single number to pop in here. Um, even though um, each of the individual heating elements seemed like they were around 900 ohms, the issue is that there's 15 of them in parallel. And when you've got parallel resistors, it's a little bit different. What you have to do is uh, the resistance is one divided by the resistance added up over all the resistors equals the reciprocal of uh, that total. So an easy way to deal with it is this particular parallel calculator. Um, it lets you just pop in individuals. I was figuring uh, kind of on average, uh, it was about 900 ohms for each of those heating element resistors. Um, so if we take one divided by 900, add them all up and flip it back over again, uh, what we get is 60 ohms. So then if we take the 60 ohms and we put that in for our resistance at 360 volts and calculate that, uh, we get a little over 2000 watts, uh, 2.16 kilowatt, which is not a lot. I mean, a 2000 watt heater, eh, that's not a, a ton of heat. Now, what's interesting here, though, is let's clear out these numbers. Uh, I ran a heat gun on the uh, heating element. I was able to get it down as low as uh, 200 ohms. Uh, so it changed with temperature. So let's just say that um, they all evenly change the same all 15 of those heating elements in parallel. So I'm just going to update this here. So that resistance really drops a lot when those uh, heating elements warm up. I don't know if in operation it actually hits 200 ohms or if it's something higher. It's probably something a little higher. But we end up getting uh, 13 and a third ohms. So now if we use that as our resistance, still at 360 volts, uh, that calculates out to 9,722 watts. That is a lot. That is almost 10 kilowatts. Uh, that's a lot of power. Um, I don't think that heater can actually make that much. So I think what happens is that the uh, electronics in there probably throttle it back to a maximum of something like maybe 8,000 watts, something along those lines. But it's just really interesting the fact that um, you know the resistance changes with temperature and because of that the total amount of power from the heater uh, can also change. So a lot of variation in there, cool stuff. I hope you like these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe and check out more at 300mpg.org. Until next time, stay charged up.